What's up, family? Man, we're gonna go in today. Man, it is what it is, man. It is. Man, first and foremost, man, thank you for all of you that, man, the beautiful birthday gifts and just the beautiful words. Man, I appreciate that. That being said, we gotta grow the fuck up. <laughs> you already know. It is what it is and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. We have to grow up. You know what I mean? And so many of us, man, we've been so enabled. We've been so robbed of our power. You know what I mean? We've been robbed of our power because we've looked for people that have enabled us. We've looked for people that have coddled us. We've looked for people that hugged us and just, you know what I mean? Just said all the nice things to us and didn't hold us a fuck accountable. You know what I mean? Stay with me. We're going somewhere. So many of us, we're not used to motherfuckers being in their fucking face and just woo -doo -woo -doo -woo -doo and telling us what it is. You know what I mean? We're so used to just the real nice, fancy, elegant words and you speaking so proper and you know what I mean? Oh, fuck the bullshit. I'm from the fucking streets and we talk motherfucking street. You know what I mean? It is what it is. You know what I mean? Grow the fuck up. There's a time and place for every fucking thing. You know what I mean? I'm not standing in front of the White House. It's not like that's a place to, you know what I mean? But it's not like I'm on stage somewhere. You know what I mean? Here we talk shit and we speak shit real. You know what I mean? We just gonna keep it real. And I don't give a fuck whether you like it or not. I'm not gonna change that shit. We've got to grow the fuck up. When I look at this generation growing up and I look at how these young people play sports and I look at how these young people are in life. They're so fucked up in the aspect of they don't want anybody in their fucking face. They don't want anybody holding them fucking accountable. They don't want anybody, man, just going in on them. They're not used to this shit. And it fucks them up. It makes them feel like they're not loved. It makes them feel like they're not good enough. Well, why are you being so mean to me? No, motherfucker. I'm going in on you because I care about you. I'm going in on you because I love you. I'm going in on you because I want you to reach your full potential. And you're never going to reach your full fucking potential being a fucking sissy. You're never going to reach your full fucking potential acting like a fucking crybaby. You're never going to reach your fucking full potential being a fucking whiner and a fucking victim. Grow the fuck up. Develop some fucking tough skin. Man, it don't fucking matter what motherfuckers say about you. It don't matter what motherfuckers think about you. Grow the fuck up. This generation walk around like they so fucking woke, so fucking deep, and you're such a fuck bunch of fucking cowards. I've never seen a more pussyfied fucking generation than this one we got right here right now. I said what I said and I meant what I motherfucking said. I stand on that shit. In the church, motherfuckers fucking cowards. In the church, motherfuckers scared. I remember, and again, I'm not a fucking Christian, but I remember way back in the 70s when motherfuckers was running from no quote-unquote devils. I remember back in the 70s when motherfuckers were laying hands on motherfuckers and spirits was getting up and walking up off their asses. I seen this shit happen. Nowadays, you motherfuckers a bunch of fucking punks. You ain't been in no fucking battles. You don't even know what a fucking battle is. You think you get a, you get a hangnail, you get a fucking splinter in your finger. Oh, I'm going through it, and the devil's trying me, and I'm in the middle of the fire, and all this bullshit. Because you got a fucking hangnail. You got a fucking splinter, and you think you're going through some shit. You think, man, I'm just in the fire right now, and there's just so much going on. And then, you, you ain't ready for fucking war. You ain't going to fucking war. You ain't combat ready. You ain't combat tested. You don't even deserve to have on a fucking uniform. You's a fucking coward, a weak link. You're the weakest fucking link. I would never go to battle with your ass. You can never be by my side in real fucking battle. In real battle, I want some motherfucking real soldiers. Motherfuckers that's been through the fucking fire. Not, oh, look at this splinter. I can't get it. Oh, my fucking hand, man. No, we ain't got time for that shit in war. We ain't got time for that fucking shit in combat. And you motherfuckers, oh my God, we got to grow the fuck up. We've got to grow the fuck up and stop playing these fucking games. We're deceiving ourselves and we're deceiving everybody that would listen to us. 
because we have platforms and we have all these fucking followers and all this other shit. We said we chosen, we part of the 144,000 and we're this, this, this and we're the Israelites and we're healers and we're star seeds and we're all this bullshit, but we ain't, we ain't got no fucking power. We got all these fucking time. I'm a boss and I'm broken. I can't afford no food, but I'm a fucking king. You fucking weak. You fucking sorry. You ain't all that. And it is what it is. It is what it is. We've got to grow the fuck up. We've got to understand who the fuck we really are. You can hype yourself up all the fuck you want to. You can have a whole bunch of other motherfuckers hyping you up. But there's going to come a time you're going to get tested and the real you is going to show itself. There's going to come a time you're going to get tested and the real you is going to fucking buckle up under that pressure because you ain't ready for it. There's going to come a time when the real motherfucker is going to step up to you and try you. And you're going to fucking cave. You're going to fucking fold. Because you know you ain't bought that motherfucking life. You talked all this religious shit. You talk all this church shit. You talk all this spiritual shit. But you know good and well. You ain't really about that motherfucking life. I don't give a damn how good you and how long you've been reading tarot cards, oracle cards, charms, pendulums. I don't give a fuck how long you've been quoting Bible scriptures, how long you've been singing in the fucking choir, how long you've been a fucking raggedy ass usher. None of that shit mean a damn thing when it comes for that motherfucking time. When that time comes, and you got to face the motherfucking music. When that time comes, and you got to look at yourself in the motherfucking mirror. And somebody's holding up a mirror to you and showing you the fucking coward you really are. Somebody's holding up a mirror to you and showing you the fucking liar and fucking hypocrite you really are. That time's coming. Somebody's gonna hold up a mirror and show you you ain't as fucking strong as you thought you was. You ain't as bad as you thought you was. You ain't as tough as you thought you was. You ain't running shit like you thought you was. And why is that time coming? That time comes for each and every one of us. That time comes to humble us. That time comes to show us the motherfucking truth. So we can learn to shut the fuck up and get in alignment or get stepped on. You're going to get stepped on or you're going to get in alignment. You're going to get in your rightful place. When that time comes. And that time looks different for each and every one of us. That time comes differently for each and every one of us. The question is, are you going to be ready to face the music at that time? A lot of motherfuckers talk about they can fight. Mike Tyson said, man, motherfuckers talk like they fight until they get hit. See, that's spiritual warfare. That time's coming. That time's here. And so many of you are fucking running around cowards and fucking whining and crying with this fucking victim mentality because you ain't as tough as you thought you was. You ain't as prepared as you thought you was. You ain't as spiritual as you thought you was. You ain't as deep as you thought you was. You reading tarot and all this other stuff and I ain't knocking that. I got tarot cards and oracle cards and charms and pendulums. I'm not knocking that. You doing all this stuff and reading for everybody else, but you can't read your motherfucking self. You can't tell your motherfucking self the truth. It is what it is. I didn't realize that yesterday um, when I released that video, um, they ain't ready for this. That was my 1,500 video that I uploaded to this channel. 1,500 videos. Why am I saying that? Because I talk a lot about the same stuff. I talk about growth and development on this channel. That's all I really talk about. I don't give a fuck about the politics. I don't give a fuck about what's going on in the entertainment industry. I don't give a fuck about any of that stupid shit. It's all distractions. I'll use it as a Less than force to grow the fuck up. But I don't give a fuck what's going on over there. 
This is not a gossip platform. This is not a, ooh, look at me and I'm balling and all that. No, this is not one of those stupid shit things either. You know what I mean? We've got to grow the fuck up. We've got to grow the fuck up. What are you doing with your motherfucking life? What is going to be your fucking legacy? Again, it don't fucking matter what people say about you. What matters is what do you say about your motherfucking self? And what I mean by that, I'm more interested in looking at your life than hearing what the fuck you got to say. If your life don't match up with what the fuck you talking about, your words don't mean shit. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers running around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ain't about shit. No power, no authority, no understanding, no fucking wisdom. But they running off at the mouth. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers out here running around gossiping, acting like little fucking bitches. It's a whole lot of motherfuckers running around here faking the funk. Pretending. But in that time, when that time comes, and I promise you it's going to come, that time is inevitable. That time is going to be multiple times. That time. Last year, I went through it at that time. A couple of them. And it was hard. It was challenging. It was difficult. It was life changing. It altered my whole world. But I passed the test. Both of them. That time. Are you ready for that time? Are you ready to be tested? Because that time's coming. You talk about elevating, you talk about being promoted, but are you ready for the fucking test? See, you can't get promoted, you can't get elevated until you go through the motherfucking test. And the test is that time. You can't cheat on the test. Are you ready for the test? Is this coming? You guys have heard me say, man, we're, we're coming up on spring. Spring is right around the corner. I love spring. Man, the new season. The flowers. The blossoms. New life. New heights. New depths. But that's only for those of us that have put in the work. That's only for those of us that have made it that far. That's only for those of us that passed the test. And everybody didn't pass their test. Are you ready? Are you ready? Man, we got to grow up. Hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, to challenge your way of thinking. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.